Solana versus Cardano, which could overtake Ethereum first? Which of Solano and Cardano could surpass Ethereum first? As the first blockchain with smart contract functionality, there's no doubt that Ethereum is giving the nascent cryptocurrency market more real-world utility as opposed to pure financial speculation. The issue, however, is that when the community's demand is at its peak, prices may be excessive. However, other blockchains are working to address Ethereum's issues. Solana and Cardano, for example, are two so-called Ethereum killers that have the potential to become more prominent on the cryptocurrency market. Which one is more likely to overtake Ethereum in the near future? Let's find out in today's video. Hello and welcome to Crypto Castle, where we explain everything crypto. Today, we'll talk about the two most popular Ethereum competitors, Solana and Cardano, which one is better and why. Let's get right into the video. Two dynamic rivals are making progress, and fast. Ethereum is a massive cryptocurrency that is reshaping the way business is conducted. This is due to its leadership position in decentralized applications, dApps. However, Ethereum does not rest on its laurels. Instead, the blockchain is currently undergoing a significant upgrade designed to reduce network congestion and increase transaction speed. It appears that Ethereum will continue to be the dominant cryptocurrency forever, right? Well, perhaps not necessarily. Two dynamic competitors are ascending the ranks, and both have the potential to surpass Ethereum. Cardano and Solana are the 7th and 8th largest cryptocurrencies respectfully. Which may do it first? Let's take a closer look. The general picture. Let's begin by discussing what I mean by overtake. This includes the number of developers on the network, the number of dApps running on the blockchain, and the popularity of the cryptocurrency among users. If a player can surpass Ethereum in these areas, it's possible that the market value of that player will increase. Currently, more than 2,900 dApps operate on Ethereum. It's the market leader and provides dApps in all industries. From finance to gaming, these applications may significantly alter the financial landscape. This is because they eliminate middlemen. For instance, users can borrow money or purchase insurance in a matter of seconds, as opposed to the traditional lengthy approval processes. And more than 4,000 developers are currently working on Ethereum. According to a report by the early-stage venture capital firm Electric Capital, this represents a 42% increase year-over-year. Year. According to the research, a large number of developers bodes well for blockchain's actual implementation. Let's now take a look at Solana. On the network, developers are working on over 5,000 projects. However, many are not yet usable. Solana remains behind Ethereum in terms of decentralized applications. However, its growth from 70 projects on the network at the beginning of 2021 demonstrates that it has the potential to catch up and even surpass its competitor. Solana is also gaining ground in the non-fungible tokens market. It's the third largest blockchain by sales volume, after Ethereum and Bitcoin. The number of developers in Solana more than quadrupled in the past year, according to a report by Electric Capital, and Solana's phantom crypto wallet has surpassed 1.8 million active users. The main net of Solana is technically still in beta, and its biggest obstacle has been stability. However, Solana is successful here, the blockchain has the potential to flourish in the coming years. A strength in stability. Moving along to Cardano, the strength of Cardano may lie in its stability. Because the network uses a peer review system, this is the case. This implies that every change or upgrade undergoes peer review prior to going live. This is a significant advantage because it will likely prevent future problems. Currently, Cardano is a work in progress. The development team has established a five-step plan and they are now concurrently working on the final two stages. The objective is to establish a decentralized network that is completely self-sufficient. Cardano has the potential to surpass Ethereum in the future. However, it has a ways to go in terms of adoption. Ethereum is the second most popular blockchain in the world, after Bitcoin and its DeFi and NFT capabilities has made it a widely used cryptocurrency asset. On May 12, 2021, its native token Ether reached its all-time high of $4,356.99. Cardano's smart contract functionality is less than a month old at the time of writing. This blockchain will require more time to attract a large number of users. The ADA reached its all-time high of $3.09 on September 2, 2021. Going forward, it's unlikely that Ethereum killers will experience smooth sailing. While Binance's smart chain and Solana has already achieved moderate adoption, Ethereum developers are not sitting back and waiting to be surpassed. September, the introduction of smart contract functionality marked a recent milestone. Versal reports that there are currently more than 1,200 smart contract scripts on Cardano. This is a significant advancement because smart contracts are the underlying infrastructure of decentralized applications, and yet another landmark is imminent. Cardano tends to launch the Hydra protocol, which will improve through output, transaction times, and the amount of concurrent work the network can handle. As for developers, it'll refer again to electric capital data. In one year, the number of Cardano developers has doubled to approximately 350. 
Cardano owners has also increased in a year. The more of wallets rose from 190,000 to 2.5 million. Both Solana and Cardano have what it takes to catch up with Ethereum and possibly surpass the market leader. However, if this does occur, Solano is more likely to act first. This is due to the fact that this blockchain is already a few steps ahead of Cardano. Here, I'm considering its standing in the world of decentralized applications and the number of developers on the network. Solana may be the first to challenge Ethereum's leadership if it doesn't encounter any significant bugs in the future. Now, before we move ahead, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Environmental Impact of Cardano and Solana Cardano and Solana are regarded as green cryptocurrencies due to their concern for minimizing environmental impact and emphasis on sustainable systems. Proof of Stake, POS, consumes significantly less energy than Proof of Work, POW, which is utilized by other blockchains such as Bitcoin. In fact, Cardano claims on its website that its Aurora Boris POS protocol is significantly more energy efficient than Bitcoin's and enables Cardano to scale securely, sustainably, and ethically with up to 4 million times the energy efficiency of Bitcoin. Similarly, Solano's POH protocol claims to be so efficient that it has a fraction of the energy impact of other blockchains and has the numbers to back it up. The average Solana transaction uses 2,707 joules compared to proof-of-work blockchains such as Ethereum, equivalent to 287 305 Solana transactions, and Bitcoin equivalent to 1 million Solana transactions, equals to 2.7 million Solana transactions. In addition to energy impact reports, the Solana website also includes an energy comparison tool to emphasize the network's efficiency and sustainability initiatives. Cardano and popular culture Cardano has been in the news for all the right reasons over the course of its history, and it's gained some unique partnerships and celebrity supporters over the years, including the following. In an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change, Samsung and Veritree have collaborated with Cardano to restore land. New Balance entered into agreement with Cardano to authenticate a premium line of training shoes for the company. Cardano collaborated closely with the Ethiopian government in efforts to build a blockchain-based universal student credentialing system. Dish Network integrated the Cardano blockchain into its telecom business to provide digital identity services to Dish customers. Cardano teamed up with esports company Rival to help admit and distribute virtual currency. Solano and popular culture since its introduction in 2020, the Solano Network has been involved in a number of noteworthy partnerships and sponsorships, despite the fact that Solano is still relatively new in the crypto market. Michael Jordan, one of the most famous players in NBA history, debuted his first NFT collection on the Hair platform, which is based on Solano. February 2022, the first decentralized music platform, Audius, was released on the Solano blockchain. Solano was lauded by Bank of America in January 2022, and the financial institution stated that the blockchain technology has to potentially become the visa of the digital asset ecosystem. The allure of Solano was too much for the American musician Jason Derulo to ignore. All-time highs and all-time lows of Cardano and Solano There has been major price developments for both ADA and SOL since the introduction of their respective cryptocurrencies. Cardano achieved its all-time high on September 2, 2021, when it was valued at 3.05 euros. It reached its all-time low on March 13, 2020. It was valued at 0 0.019. On November 6, 2021, the price of Solano achieved its all-time high, 256.46 euros, while on May 11, 2020, the price of Solano hit its all-time low of 50 cents. On Bitpanda, you'll be able to view the change in price that has occurred for Cardano and Solana during the previous 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, and over the past year. Since the cryptocurrency market is notorious for its high degree of volatility, it's impossible to use previous performance as an accurate indicator of future success. The winner. Given the information that we have discussed previously, we are forced to conclude that Solana possesses the potential to surpass Ethereum before Cardano does. We believe that the most significant perspective use case for cryptocurrencies right now is the disruption of existing financial institutions, particularly payment systems. Despite the potential security issues, the enormous potential upside of Solana can be seen in its lightning-fast transaction processing rates and incredibly low transaction fees. So what are your thoughts about Solana versus Cardano debate? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Also, if you like this video, make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.